and you join us now making our way to the pond side. Um, I'd like to say hello on my behalf and on my companion I'd, also. I'd like to say hello as well actually on my own behalf. Well we're descending down the main uh, parade into the arena. There seems to be quite a gathering for us. Everybody's very keen to catch every moment of this. It's likely to be an extraordinary day. Of course, this being the 143rd Grand Owl Parade being held here in the traditional location of the Queen's Park Arena. A vast lake stretching out almost as far as the eye can see with flocks of gulls, pigeons, even some young swans there near the front. And we take a seat in our commentary box. Quite a program we've got here for you today. There'll be several, several arrivals, of course, as traditional, starting with the sea owls, will be arriving first, and then followed on by the lesser birds, slowly progressing down through the ranks towards the starlings. One of the pigeons just setting off to the other side of the lake. Uh, the pigeons here in force to keep uh, everybody secure and make sure everything's running smoothly. Quite formidable these uh, security arrangements today. Some 130,000 pigeons keeping watch over the event, making sure nothing untoward takes place. It's important of course to mention the role of the pigeons, often overlooked on such events. Without them of course this wouldn't be possible. We seem to have rid the parade of any hooliganism problems. It was, of course, threatening the uh, existence of the parade itself. A couple it of certainly years ago. was. I remember those dark days. And here we go. And a hush falls over the crowd. And as we can see now, the Queen has taken her seat among her fellow owls. And yes, we see a slight movement from the, the head wren there down in the centre of the pond signalling the arrival of the main parade. A small, small tip of the beak and in comes the procession. And what a magnificent sight it is as the owls swoop majestically at the far end of the avenue, making their way slowly and serenely into the arena. The owls, of course, chosen for this role due to their superior wing characteristics primary wing feathers of course allowing them to move with great power and precision amongst the oaks on the Grand Avenue. Yes. And the secondary wing feathers giving them an immense stability in the air. Indeed. We're quite lucky today to have very gentle winds but uh, even in a strong wind the owls would be able to pull off all the manoeuvres we're going to see today. Of course. The cloud base today sitting at around 300 feet should allow the owls to maintain their full altitude throughout the procession and we'll have a grand view from here. And they've separated, a successful separation there, grouping off into threes and heading in opposite directions. I expect, yes, there they go, they're turning and heading towards each other now. And they pull up and head into the skies. Wow, a fantastic figure of eight display there, right over the centre of the main arena. An absolutely fantastic sight. You may have noticed some gulls have moved into the perimeters of the lake, just in case of any problems. Pigeons dealing with the crowd security, gulls dealing with any uh, safety issues that might arise. But I'm sure everything's going to be fine. I'll have to interrupt you there. There's a, there. there seems to be a, a raucous erupting there at the far, most unusual. There's some geese seem to be, <coughs> they've perhaps come for some kind of demonstration against the owl parade making quite a racket at the top of the pond. Hopefully the pigeons will have it under control and will be able to proceed with the day's events without any more interruptions. I must say, um, I would have hoped for some pigeons to have moved in a little quicker than this. The gulls seem to be swooping in. Um, there's one, one main troublemaker over there, a, a big white goose stood quite proud at the moment. He seems to be a little distressed. Um, we didn't really need this sort of commotion, particularly at the start of the day. I was hoping everything was going to run a little smoother. I think everything's quietening down a little bit and we can uh, draw our attention back to the main parade. And as the owls now pass the elms on the perimeter of the main arena, 
now fly past the royal box and if we look closely we can see the queen just rising slightly to get a better view of the procession as it passes by yes popping her head slightly to the left and to the right then the cross and those wingtips of course coming within perhaps 15 feet of the royal box she'll have a fantastic view from there and you can see from the slight smile on her beak she must be enjoying the day's events and of course uh, almost has actually been um quoted as top of the bill today, surprisingly not the owls, but some ravens coming in from uh, from London. Uh, I'm not quite sure what they've got prepared for us, but um, there's a rumour of doing a few little uh, side shows amongst the crowd. Of course, important to mention the crowd at such an event. They play such an important part in generating the atmosphere here course, for the main owl parade. Buying seed and grain from many of the stalls set out around the showground, they'll be able to throw up into the beaks of the lead owl. There's seed and grain, there's also some wheat and barley stalls that have, have dotted around the edge of the, of the arenas and uh, I see a lot of the young young birds in the audience have got a few bags of that ready. Of course parsley a favourite now amongst some of the younger birds. Yes, but unfortunately banned from uh, being uh, distributed amongst the crowd. Um, the pigeons have been searching people birds coming in, make sure there's no parsley on them. Uh, obviously it can distract the owls as they're going about their displays.